So let's have a look at ebook cover image sizes. These are for the major distributor requirements. Now these are the recommendations and specifications as at February the 2021. All of these sizes can change without notice. So if you land on a distributor site ready to submit your book, do check the file sizes. They're accurate at time of printing and will give you a good idea and the range of what you need to do. Most are minimum sizes as specified by the publishers, meaning it's always a good idea to make it larger and if you can, do so because the larger images, if it's resized down to fit their specifications, you will have a good image. It's always a good idea to make your images larger, then reduce them to fit. Never take a small image and try and enlarge it to fit. You'll end up with jaggies, they pixelate, and you've probably discovered that already. Now don't worry too much about aspect ratios, you'll see them mentioned here. Be more aware of actual sizes. Aspect ratios are a bit of a, a, bit of a black art, so um, be careful of those. Don't worry about them really. They're there if you need them. Now, getting right into the various types, Kindle eBook. This is the big one. Format, JPEG or TIFF. That's the file sizes. The dimensions, a minimum size of 1600 pixels wide and 2560 pixels high. Aspect ratio of 1.6 to 1. If you can maintain that even with a larger image, you'll be doing well. The minimum resolution, 300 dpi. Color, file, color profile is RGB. Now with Kindles there's a little caveat. Cover art with white or very light backgrounds can seem to disappear against the white background. So try adding a narrow 3 or 4 pixel wide border in medium grey to define the boundaries of the cover. Otherwise no border. Do not use transparent backgrounds. Most distributors will reject your image if it's got a transparent background. If they see transparent layers in it, it'll be rejected. Now these are the, um, these are the presets that I've generated. I'll put them in a file. They'll be, in the, be mentioned in the description on the YouTube channel and be available um, shortly from my website's download area if you want them. They're easy enough to make though. And this, of course, is what they look like. Kindle eBook standard, and that's obviously portrait mode. Most of them are portrait. Now, the Apple iBooks, now done with pages specifications. JPEG or PNG, same dimensions, pretty much anyway, 1600 by 2400, minimum of 1400 pixels wide. Now, Apple iBooks pages, if you like, have changed theirs very recently and this is the new minimum width. Now if you're 1400 pixels wide 1873 is a good height, a good minimum height because you've got an aspect ratio of 1.5 uh, 1.5 um, percentage or 2, point, or 2 to 3, 2 is to 3 aspect ratio. Minimum resolution of 300 dpi and again be careful of borders and cover art. Here we're looking at the preset, fairly straightforward. I've put margins in, you can see margins there, in all of these except for one because it's a four pixel margin, it doesn't print, but it's there to remind you that if your cover art is very light in colour and you're going on a white background, as with the Kindle, your cover art can tend to disappear on the page. And if it's on a listing on a website, a white background mm, and a and, and white background of your cover image will tend to disappear into it. So put a border on it if you if you uh, have a very pale background color to your cover art. And you can see the the very fine um, margin border around there. Kobo. 
Lots of people are using Kobo. Don't be fooled by the fact that you don't hear much about it, but it's out there. Now it's a it's a strange one. 600 pixels wide by 800 pixels high, and the maximum file size you can upload is 2 megabytes. Now that's really small. Aspect ratio of that is 3 to 4. The minimum resolution of 900 dpi. I've yet to discover what they mean by that, because that's a very odd dpi if you're looking for a file that's 2 megabytes maximum file size. You may have to experiment. But there we go, there's your preset, easy enough to make. And that's what it looks like. Mind you, the Kobo uh, reader is a fairly small, uh, fairly small, <coughs> excuse me, fairly small device. Smashwords, you've all heard of Smashwords, and Smashwords will distribute your book to just about everywhere. But make sure your dimensions of your cover image are big enough for them to use. 1400 by 1873. A maximum file size less than 5 megabytes. Now in some places I've uploaded 5 megabytes and it's knocked it back, refused it. But 4.99 goes through. So when they say less than 5 megabytes, be careful. They may mean less than 5 megabytes. Now aspect ratio and minimum resolution are unspecified. But given that it's um, RGB, you can probably go for as big a resolution as you like, so long as it still fits within less than 5 megabytes file size. There's your presets, and that's what it looks like. Barnes & Noble standard. Now the Nook specifications. One of these days, if their readers weren't, if the readers of all these weren't so expensive, I'd have one of each to play with. Format JPEG or PNG. Dimension 1600 by 2400. That's an aspect ratio of 1.5 or 2 to 3. They don't appear to have a maximum file size. They have a minimum resolution of 72, well, that's no surprise, and you can make it more than that if you like, and I'd certainly advise it, because although the Nook originally was not high resolution, the newer ones are. That's what it looks like in your preset. And of course you can pause these pages to find out where you've got to go. JPEG, PNG or TIFF for the Book Baby standard. Dimensions 1400 minimum and 2600. 2100 high minimum. So make it 2600. Um, that will match up with an aspect ratio of 1.5 or 2 to 3. Again, minimum resolution 72 dpi. That's what it looks like in the preset. And last but not least, the Lulu standard. 612 pixels wide by 792 pixels high minimum. Now, I suspect that these sizes are related to the Lulu ebook catalogue that they have on their own site. But that's what they want, so that's what you give them. That's an 8.5 inch by 11 inch um, page. A bit easier to understand. There appears to be no maximum file size and the aspect ratio of that is 17 to 32. Minimum resolution 72 dpi which is fairly standard for um, a web interface so this may be referring to their online catalogue cover page image. I don't think it refers to the image that actually goes into the book. There's your preset and a printout. And that's the end. Thank you for watching.